Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here with an introduction to Laplace transforms. Laplace transforms are used in differential equations to solve initial value problems, in particular non-homogeneous initial value problems. We start with a differential equation, and what we'll do is we will actually compute the Laplace transform of that entire equation. That will give us some sort of an algebraic expression. We'll have an equation now that is just an algebraic equation to be solved. We will solve the algebraic equation using whatever methods are appropriate once we see that equation, and that will give us the solution to our algebraic equation. Once we have that solution algebraically, then we'll take our algebra equation, we'll compute the inverse Laplace transform, and we'll convert it back into a solution for our differential equation. These transforms are commonly seen in physics, engineering, and astronomy problems. They work nicely for problems that have complex electrical circuits, time delay problems, also what we call convolution. And they're a nice alternative method to solving non-homogeneous equations where you might have used the method of undetermined coefficients or variation of parameters before. And Laplace transforms are adept at solving equations, particularly that involve piecewise functions, some sort of a periodic input, or what we call impulse. Common notations that you'll see with Laplace transforms. First we will start with some function of t, some function of time. We'll take the Laplace transform of the function of time. We'll have some sort of capital L of f of t. You may see a cursive L here. I've used a common font that is used for the L of Laplace transforms. And it's going to transform it into, notice, some function of s. Here we have capital F of s. And now this capital F here may give you some sort of an indication or some sort of a hint. Remember in calculus when you calculated something and it became capital F, we were using integration to do so, and it turns out that your intuition is spot on here. If we start with some function y of t instead of f of t, when we take the Laplace transform of y of t, then we'll simply call it y of s instead of f of s. Once we get equations in terms of s, we'll solve for f of s or y of s here. Once we have that solution, remember we said we'll need to take the inverse transform. When we take the inverse transform of a function of s, we'll use the inverse function notation. So this is the inverse Laplace transform. It looks like to a power of negative 1, but this is actually inverse here. So inverse transform of our f of s will give us back some function of t. Our definition for the Laplace transform of a function here, it's an integral transform. Notice it's the definite integral from 0 to infinity of our function of t times e to the negative st dt. This integral transform takes our function of t and changes it into a function of s. Notice we have a definite integral. We're integrating a function of t multiplied by e to the negative st, which is a function of both s and t. So when we integrate and then plug in our bounds and use our limit, then our t's will become values and we'll be left with a function of s. When we're computing these integrals, obviously it's important that we're very familiar with the method of improper integrals, and you'll see a variety of integration techniques depending on what your f of t is. You may be using some identities or integration by parts, etc. When we compute an inverse transform, we won't actually need any sort of integration to do it. We'll just be using algebraic techniques to compute the inverse transforms. We may use a table of inverse transforms to compute inverse Laplace transforms sometimes, and we also want to be familiar with algebraic methods like completing the square and partial fractions that pop up commonly with inverse transforms. Coming up in our next video in our series on Laplace transforms, we actually work some common function Laplace transforms using this integral definition. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next video.